and we're back to learning Escape, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a pie chart. We've got a nice extension for that so that we can render it. Just click on the top menu on extensions and you will find under render the so-called nice charts. Let us check the preview and this is what we've got here by default or somewhat by default. I've changed the colors a little bit and I'm going to go over these functions now. On the charts, let me increase the pie radius to make it bigger. Obviously we don't have bars here, it's a pie chart, so we don't have to play around with bar length or bar width or the offset of it. The stroke width, it changes the thickness of this little line here. And the offset between chart and labels, it affects the length of this line. We've got color schemes to choose from. The default is this one, kind of like a red style. Change that to blue, gray, contrast, or SAP. And you can even reverse these colors by checking the box down here. You've got the chance to add a drop shadow. So you can see that when you've got a bar chart instead of a pie. Let us choose this one, which is the pie chart percentage. And as I've said, we can create bar charts the same way, but we'll have to give it a bar length. I'll set that to zero, so we don't need it for the pie chart, and you can see what it does. So let's get back to the pie chart. And we'll go to values. You can see that right behind the label, there are some numbers. If we check that box, they're shown. These are the values of these labels. And if you want to get rid of them, just uncheck the box. Let me increase the font size and the labels to make it a little bit bigger. And you can also play around with the font color or the font itself. And the data, you can input the data, you can import a CSV file or type it in manually. And the format is always a comma in between these different labels. Let me click OK here. So if you have a live preview checked and you type something in, it tries to render it directly, which doesn't work. So uncheck the live preview and then add something, for example, strawberries after the comma. And let's make it 50. So there's an example for the formatting on top that should be self-explanatory. Well, you can see if I check the live preview now, we've got the strawberries added. Let me delete that and I'll switch back to the default here. When you got what you want, just click apply and you're good with this rendering. It's the editable, so if I select one of these, uh, one of these sections of the pie chart, and I use my fill and stroke, I can change the color. I can also play around with the labels and give it a stroke or make it bigger. Just like this, I can rearrange that, put it to the bottom or to the top. So it's still fully editable as text and shapes. So one more thing I wanted to show you is you can add uh, separation lines in between these sections. So if you select all of them, well, let me uncheck the label lines here. So simply hold shift and click on them. And now I've got only the sections of the pie chart selected. Go to object, fill in stroke, stroke paint, add a stroke, and under stroke size you can adjust the thickness here. Let me go to round 10 and this is how you can create these basic pie charts in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.